Got a couple of things I just want to have a look at here. Now, first of all, the star for Pakistan throughout this day, I thought was Az Ali. I thought he played really nice. Shafiq also played brilliantly. Az Ali, I thought, was terrific. His 94th Test match, his first Test match in this venue. And what I've highlighted with him is his interception against spin bowling. Now, let's just have a look at some of the work that he did. Let me just stop this so that you can just get a, a, an indication of what I'm talking about. We've got the back foot as the blue balls, the front foot as the yellow, and sweeping is red. So they're going to pop up around about here in these sort of areas. But also in this little box, you're going to see the shots as well. So you've got to have a, one eye on each one, basically. So let's have a look. Really good work from uh, the way that he tried something a little bit different against uh, Nathan Lyon. He, he played a couple of very good solid for defensive shots, even though the man was a silly point, Travis head as well, and that was absolutely fine, even though there was a little bit of bounce from time to time. And then he rocked onto that, uh, what was a back foot shot, if you like, but playing from the crease, just to make sure there was uh, no danger whatsoever. So there's a look at the interception points. So again, these are the balls that were swept. And then the front foot yellows. And then the back foot balls, which were basically played from the crease. So I thought he'd worked out his game pretty well. And I think when you're playing on a surface like this, that's one of the important things you have to do, work out how to go against it. And then don't forget when Nathan Lyon has got these sort of areas that he can work with and bowl into, which he was doing quite nicely, and getting that turned that way towards uh, the batsman, it makes it a little bit challenging, particularly when you've got uh, a couple of guys just uh, hovering around here and also here as well. So. I thought it was pretty good the way that he worked it out and it was nicely played. Now, I'm going to revisit something which I thought was quite interesting today about Pat Cummins and the way that uh, he bowled. Yes, he picked up 556 and he was absolutely outstanding with the way he went about it. But this is really good thinking. Obviously, it's something, a, a bit of a plan that came up behind the scenes and it was to forward Alam. Obviously, everyone knows, I think, who are watching the second test that he had a few problems in the first test, right? They had a few problems with his trigger move movements and didn't quite get them right uh, then. In fact, no, sorry, the second test when the ball was reversing, didn't quite get him right. He was a little bit late and he got uh, that terrific uh, reverse swing delivery at 146 k's per hour from Stark. So then he sort of got it a bit better and his trigger moves were fine. But they thought, well, hang on a sec, we'll come up with another plan that's going to get him a little bit more concerned as well. So this is the first ball to forward. And again, I'm just going to highlight the crease that uh, he normally has to keep some sort of his foot behind. So let's have a look at the first one. So that was standard. There was nothing wrong with that. That was totally standard. But let's now move to this one because of the second ball. Only the second ball that he bowled to him. And this is where things get a little bit different. Just concentrate on that area because what he decided is rather than go all the way, he was anticipating that Fard wasn't going to be all the way through his trigger movements. And he uh, decided to bowl from that sort of area and trying to catch him unawares when he was still on the move, which is well exactly what happened when uh, he was uh, caught out against Mitchell Stark. So let's have a look at this and you'll see where he delivered it from. And it is quite amazing that he tried that. Which, by the way, just one other thing, I mean, that actually, with the back foot, that actually should be called a no ball, I just want to highlight. I'm not exactly sure, I'll have to check on this rule, because, I mean, how, I'm not sure how the umpire can actually call a no ball when the line stops there, he's, he's delivered from so far back, but he is in between the umpire and also the stumps. So that foot can't cut, can't go over this, uh, this return crease there. So that's an error from, um, basically, uh, Pat Cummins going that wide as well. So tricky stuff from Pat Cummins to forward uh, Alam, and it didn't work.